And now for something teeny. Clowns and science and atoms and uh, clever things that I'm doing. You know what? Tell me why! This is Tell Me Why, where we invite sharp young minds to ask a question or explain something they're passionate about. Today we're joined by Tanish Abraham, who at 10 years old has just completed a course on nanotechnology, which by my count makes him a relative expert. What does nanophotonics mean? Nanophotonics actually means um, using light at the nanoscale. Why is it useful? So some, you know, some scientists think that nanotechnology could give us the ability someday to create an invisibility cloak. Could that happen? How would it work? Yeah, it could actually happen. So um, basically, we would use uh, these um, synthesized materials called um, metamaterials. They're not actually found in nature. They have negative refractive index. So um, the light bends um, the wrong way. So usually it would bend like, it would go this way, like this. But uh, when an object has a negative refractive index, um, like metamaterials, light goes like this and then comes like down like that. So it can, so what happens is for invisibility cloaks that are made from metamaterials, the light goes around, um, the object right so in other words the the photons that are coming from whatever it is that's behind me would hit my back and then go around me and then come out the same way so people who are standing in front of me would be seeing what's behind me and it'd look like i wasn't there right would, would you want an yes. invisibility cloak what would you use one for to hide <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> of course do you think you're gonna to get one your, do you think you're gonna get one in your lifetime tanish I guess so. Maybe I like, yeah, I think so. Another area of nano that I'm fascinated by that I know that you've been studying is nanomagnetics, right? What's nanomagnetics? Well, nanomagnetics is using uh, ma um, magnetics at the, um, at the nano scale. An example is water purification, um, where you use um, ma uh, magnetic nanoparticles to actually attach to chemicals like arsenic and microorganisms and then use an external magnet to take those um, ma uh, nanoparticles out to, uh, this gives you clean water. What excites you the most about the future of nanotechnology? How small do you think computers are going to ultimately be able to get? I think that computers are really going to get um, pretty small. Um, um, I bet that soon smartphones will be as uh, powerful as supercomputers, maybe. But there is a problem: the feature sizes of these um, of the transistors are getting smaller and smaller, and at one point it won't be able to get smaller. Uh, so there's this limit. So scientists are trying to find a way to um, um, pr uh, make something really small and actually get more power. Yeah.